For investors, the reality has set in that we're not quite over this pandemic yet. Encouraged by the recent decline in coronavirus cases, the market rebounded. But now with new reports of a spike in coronavirus cases in 20 states, the alarm bell sounded today once again on Wall Street. Stocks plummeted to their lowest level in two months, with the Dow tumbling more than 1,800 points in the final half hour of trading, undermining the extreme optimism about the economy that catapulted stocks toward record highs. Economists fear uncertainty going forward could trigger a volatile market. And the uncertainty stems from uncertainty about the economy, and it stems from uncertainty about the coronavirus. And those issues aren't going to be solved for a long time, so the volatility is going to be with us to stay. Fears mounted as we reached the two millionth coronavirus case in the U.S., and many states reported a new uptick in cases. The looting and massive protests rocking the country are other factors unnerving the economy. And although the latest employment figures show two and a half million people were back at work, another one and a half million filed for unemployment benefits. The chairman of the Federal Reserve voiced concerns that millions will never return to jobs. In part, the money markets were responding to Jerome Powell's outlook for a long-lasting poor economy, even though he was reassuring that the Federal Reserve had no plans to increase interest rates. We're not thinking about raising rates. We're not even thinking about thinking about raising rates. So what we're thinking about is, is providing uh, support for this economy. We do think this is going to take some time. With all this uncertainty in the market and uncertainty clouding our minds, what do economists like Robert Brusca see as the outlook for the rest of this year? We're going to have recovery in the second half of the year. It's going to start out on the fast side, but then it's going to slow down because there are some businesses that just aren't going to come back as fully or as quickly as some of the others. And further encouraging news today from President Trump, who tweeted, we will have a good third quarter and a great fourth quarter. And Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said, despite the uptick in COVID-19 cases, the government will not again have a lockdown in this country. Reporting from home, I'm Marvin Scott, PIX11 News.